Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to talk about um, my new PC build and what was going on. Um, I've had a little bit of time now. Well, actually, today I was today's my anniversary, my 10 year anniversary. So me and my wife were out. We were having a good time. We went and saw Transformers. Um, we spent the day together. I came home. I, uh, I installed my my two sticks, my two separate sticks of uh, six, two two six um, thirty two gigs, two sixteen sticks card uh, into the PC. Got everything all booted up. I've been downloading some freaking drivers and all my other stuff, trying to get everything back up and running. So I made the decision to go ahead and switch from Nvidia over to AMD. So that's the platform I'll be using now going forward. Is AMD got AMD um, the uh, AMD 7900 XT paired with the 5800X. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm I'm really happy about that. It's kind of uh it's kind of like getting to play Starfield two months early. <laughs> Cause now I'm off in the unknown, man. I have no more training wheels on the PC. It's complete it's a full build. Um the only things that I used from the pre-built was the CPU and the um and the SSD now because I just bought some some new memory for this. So I got I got 32 gigs, six, 3600 megahertz. So so that there is pretty cool. Go, went into the BIOS, set up smart access or smart access uh, RAM or whatever smart smart access memory. So that's that's all enabled right now. Got got everything all up and running good. Everything seems to be working pretty good now. Like I feel like it's starting to get a little bit more stable. I was having some some mouse issues. I mean, when I did the live stream yesterday, you guys could see some of the some of the issues that were that were going on. But I think I'm starting to get that stuff ironed out. It's starting to get a lot more, a lot more stable. The more, the more I get into it, uh, I've I had to wipe everything. I had to wipe everything. So I lost all my old previous recordings. I've 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 lost everything. I lost all my Final Fantasy footage. So I'm gonna have to play that again if I want to get some more footage of it. Uh, <laughs> that really, this has been this has been interesting. So let me tell you what happened. I didn't really have this planned like this wasn't planned i bought the new graphics card because i was going to just stick it in the pre-bill and and try out amd and see where that takes me and uh i ended up trying to fit the card in there it wouldn't fit in the case i was getting frustrated so i was like you know what let's just go buy a new case went down to to best buy uh, i was talking to a guy there he 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 does the a the 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 uh the the amd platform too and i was talking to him and i was you know telling him you know what i did and what i was what, what i wanted to plan to do and uh like just started talking to him and i ended up you know getting a motherboard and and doing and and like we were just talking and he's like you you should just like rip everything out of there and like build your own system so that you got room for this card and everything else and 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 do all of that stuff and i was like yeah that kind of wasn't the plan but you know what let's just do it man he he showed me everything that i was gonna that, that i would uh that i would have to buy you know we were talking about it and then i was like you know what man we're just gonna go ahead and do it so i spent like another gosh it was only like 600 bucks or something like another 600 bucks to get everything um so so that was pretty cool like i was pretty excited about that and i was feeling pretty good about it i mean i've still kind of had a little bit of anxiety because i was like man this wasn't planned I'm putting too much money into this channel now. I'm I'm just I mean, I guess if it wasn't for that that dump truck of money from Microsoft, I probably wouldn't have been able to make this happen. So, I mean, you know how as Xbox get paid and everything to like Xbox. So, here's the thing. I want to start out with the uh, with the case that I got. So, it's what I got was the NZXT H7 Flow. Now, this case is pretty massive. As you can see, the big PlayStation 5's not sitting there anymore not taking up any room it's just completely been moved and that's fine like whatever i'll put it under the table or under the desk or something because that monster deserves a place front and center in the camera i uh now now i want to talk about like building with this case like building into this case this was very 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 nice plenty of room i was able to get everything in there i got the motherboard all seated in there nicely got it all screwed down everything got all my memory everything all loaded on there no problem nice and easy stuck that in there um now let me give you a little bit let me give you a little bit of backstory i used to work for gate gateway computers when they when they were here in utah i used to assemble 
computers and ship them out the door. So I, so I'm not completely dumb when it comes to, to doing computers, but that was like pre like hardcore graphics cards and stuff. I mean, like you had sound cards, you had video cards. I mean, you had like weird video cards, like nothing like super extreme for like gaming or anything like that yet. You had, um, you had like, I mean, well, yeah, you would have like your sound card, you'd have your video card, you would have, um, uh, your, your, what was it? No, it was modems. You had modems back then. So, I mean, just like everything that you'd be putting in like your, your PCIe slots, you know, you'd be, you'd have a whole bunch of different stuff in there, depending on whatever the customer ordered, we would just assemble it all, go grab all the parts, put it all in there, uh, do the CPUs, do the CPU cooler, all of that stuff. So what, I mean, like I've done this before, like it, it was just way more basic back then, like way more basic. <laughs> that was so basic back then. You had, you had like a few cords that you'd plug in everywhere. Like it was pretty basic. So, I mean, I, I do have some experience in that, but that was pretty ancient builds, but I want to get back to this case, like those old, the old gateways, you would just put it in there. There was like really no going out of your way to run cables any which way or whatever. It was just like a little sprout of cables and you just plug them in. Like it was pretty simple back then. This is very different. Like it, it could, if you're building a new PC for the first time, this could definitely be, um, a little bit overwhelming you know if you don't really have any experience whatsoever it could be a little bit intimidating for sure for sure so definitely watch whatever you need to watch i mean i i wish i could find like some good tutorials on there here's one thing everything on your board is labeled all of the all in this case every wire that came down was all labeled and if it wasn't labeled like there was one that wasn't labeled but you could look at the plug end after pulling the cap off and you knew exactly what slot that went into on the p on the on the motherboard there, there was no mistaking that one um all of your all of your power cables are going to come with your power supply and and there's th th those were all marked on there too they have cpu cables they have sata cables it had the cables for your 12 pin i mean obviously one cable for that and then uh for for your um for your for your gpu you got your pcie cables that will come out and then um I, my my card requires two so i ran two two whole cords i didn't use the pigtail or nothing like that ran both of those in there and then zip tied them you can also have custom cables made so that you don't have to have that ugly pigtail in there if you're going for a really clean build that's something that like see like i said this was spur of the moment instantaneous like it, it was just like boom i did it i made the decision and and i started doing it so I didn't really have time to research and get me any pre any, any pre cables or anything like that. But the next build that I do when I decide to upgrade this platform, I will do all of that again. I will buy a whole nother case. I will buy I'll, I'll buy all of the stuff and then I'll I'll build all of that on there. This was pretty cool, man. Like I'm not even joking. Like building this on this H7 Flow case really intuitive really easy all of your cable management it has two different sides another one on the top you'll have all your cables that you can run down velcro straps that come out they fold around and and step on there uh like you i got i got plenty but with all the components that i bought i got plenty of freaking zip ties and other straps and everything so i was able to to run everything pretty nice now i will say all of your fan cables and all of that all your our, um, our rbge cables and all of that those are going to look ugly no matter what you do <laughs> they're, they're going to look a little bit ugly and you're going to wrap them up and you're going to have like a little thing you're going to zip tie both sides of it and you're going to have like this little big old bow and it has like this little slot that you can stick it in there and then like the velcro straps over it <laughs> really cool run my cpu cable up right over stuck it right into the board i was able to get the 12 pin to kind of just up and then flip around and plug right in very cool you know my usb my usb 3.0 cable uh comes up from the bottom and then just boop right in this motherboard this b550 oh yeah like i got the b550 tomahawk wi-fi um extreme or something like wi-fi max or something let me let me look at the picture real quick so i can tell you what what components that i got with this so that we can go over them one at a time and kind of talk about like the build process and stuff so the uh the h7 flow case is is incredible i love i love this case so far very very nice plenty of air flow lots of freaking you can i can have three fans 120 millimeter fans or something like some pretty big fans in the front there's three slotted in the back so uh, or on the top so you can have three on the three on the front three on the back or three on the top one on the back 
really big looking fans definitely more they're 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 bigger than the ones that i had with the uh um gosh dang it what was i gonna say they are bigger than the ones that i had when uh when i had the uh when i had the hp like what the freak man so i i don't know why that keeps happening I, I i think this kept recording through that the whole time that's why i didn't, didn't stop and pay attention to it but my screens keep doing that every once in a while i finally just got it working to where i could have both of them on there at the same time i i still need to figure that out i need to figure out what's going on with that but okay so let's get back into this I'm, I'm just leaving that in there i'm not cutting it out so that you guys can see what this experience was like from start to finish with going amd so whether i mean i'm taking it with the good and the bad so it, it is what it is so i got the mag 550 tomahawk wife uh, max wi-fi pretty decent board am4 platform like you're gonna i mean that's something that you'll want to make sure you get like an am4 am5 whatever i i'm still gonna stick with am4 until the am5 platform bugs and all that get worked out there's no sense of me putting more stress on my plate and, and i'll tell you guys i'll tell you guys right now man the honest to i mean the honest truth about it is like i don't i'm not like intimidated by pc it's just i'm i don't have the time to sit and do this and and chase all these like things i'm so happy i'm getting off of the nvidia hamster wheel because that's what it felt like to me it felt like a hamster wheel like every time something comes out i'm like oh my gosh you got to get a new card i got to get a new card and and i'm done with that like i'm done with that i don't want to feel like that i want to just have a platform that works that i'm not chasing freaking rainbows every time i turn around because there's some new ai tech that made me mad i'm not even gonna lie when they came out with dlss3 and said that it would not work backward compatible I, I i was i was pretty much done with the nvidia then i i i was like really man you guys are gonna just you you're gonna you're gonna do that and and like that's how you're gonna run your business nvidia i jumped right off that hamster wheel because it reminds me of playstation it reminds me of playstation and i'm sick of it amd um amd uh android and freaking microsoft i love that open platform i love the fact that they are willing to not lock me i i, I didn't want to feel feel locked and, and i was starting to feel pretty locked with nvidia so if I, I can do whatever i need to do with amd i'll be happy so the the mag motherboard has everything all mapped out everything all of the cable lines from the h7 flow went right in there they were all named properly there was a spot for everything all of the fan cables you're going to have all your fan cables they're all going to have most of them are going to have four pin on the board uh, most of these fans are going to have three you just plug them in on the slot that's got the little rib for the thing to slide in no problem everything works fine uh the cpu cooler so um is what i did like let's talk about the cpu i did reuse my 5800x from my pre-build so i put it right into to this and then i ended up getting let's see if this is the nope that's not the picture for that it is right here so i ended up getting this now I'm, i know there's going to be people in the comment section telling me about yeah did you know about this okay so it's the msi mag core liquid 20 240r v2 ai aio um ar argb cpu liquid cooler i get that this one here has problems i understand that somebody said that in the comment section today i did a bunch of research on it that really sucks that really sucks this this thing might not last very long i might get six months a year out of this but i love the design of this thing i love the way it looks so much that i am willing to give msi that try to to see if this is good man um i i i've already i've already i like the design i like the way it looks so far my 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 temperature for my cpu has been in the 30s 37 whatever so it's been it's been okay the the thing they said was if it gets over into the 60s while it's just idle then there's something going on but with my screen blacking out like that like i i, I want to figure out why that is happening that's like the one and it only does that when i'm recording when i'm playing video games or doing anything else I, I i that doesn't happen it's only when i'm recording with this software so it might be something that has to do with with Streamlabs or or whatever something something with this so we'll we'll figure that out uh, maybe it's like a bug with the with the drivers and and running it on amd um okay so let me get over on to the next part so i got the course air um 
RMX series RM1000X high performance ATX power supply. This is a pretty decent power supply. It's an 80 plus or whatever. I think it's an 80 plus gold or some something. Can't really see with this picture. <laughs> I don't remember power play. So all of my, like I was saying, all of the cables were, were, were properly. Um, yeah, there you go. It's going black again. And and it's only it only does this when I am recording on here. And then oh oh, I think it's my screen's timing out. That's what. It, okay, I I I know how to fix that. I know how to fix that. I think my screen timeout is just set too low when I'm recording. That's probably what it is when I'm when I'm. Yeah, it's because it's just sitting here and idle. So <laughs> that's cool. Because right when I move the mouse, it comes right back on. So here's the thing. Like um, with with the power supply, like I was saying, all of those cables are 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 um are labeled. So you'll be able to get them in. You'll be able to put them in, nice and easy. You'll be able to like you can run them however you want. Like with my PCIe cables, they run straight across and then up and into my GPU. My 12 pin runs straight up the back and then kind of just comes over. And then my CPU cable comes up over and, and plugs right in. Uh, my SATA cables, they plug right into my board like this. There's like a cutout right there and they plug into here. And then I just run them around the back and stick them into my SSD, um, my SATA SSDs that, that, are, that I can put four of them on the back of there boom 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 four and i've got plenty of plugs in the thing uh my motherboard only came with two plugs two uh two uh wire harnesses for those so so that's pretty cool but i got like um with the uh with the actual power supply for it there's like three there's like one two three four five six so so i could put plenty of them in there if i want and then i also have another bay under the uh because there's like like a cover that goes straight across that covers the uh, power supply as well this case is so cool like i love the the flow of this case that's why i think the name flow is proper for this build for this case it's so cool so I got two more bays that I could put standard HDDs in there, like the like the big 2.5 ones or whatever. But it also um, you can also put, uh, well, no, cause, yeah, it's just the 2.5s or something in there. It's just the 2.5s. It, it it is a little bit bigger. I'd have to pull it off and look at it. So cable management in this case was very nice, very very nice. It looks very clean. It looks it looks really really nice to be to to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm so glad I figured out that screen thing. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. That's so dumb. Uh, let me let me see what else did we have in here. Obviously, I got the uh, the 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 paste and then and then the graphics card. So the graphics card. So I mean, it was pretty much like those are the components that you need, like your SSD, all of that stuff. But the graphics card, the the seventy nine hundred XT, which is the star of the show. I got the XF X model. I will have a link in the description for for that card. Um, I would put a link in the description for all the rest of the stuff, but that would take me a whole bunch of time to get on Amazon and maybe I will, maybe I will get on Amazon and try to find all these things and, and post the Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you decide to buy any of this stuff from Amazon, I will get credit for that and it will help the channel. It will give me credit. Uh, what is it? Gift cards to Amazon. Once I get to a certain amount <laughs> or whatever, then I'll be able to get like a, like a five or $10 gift card to, to be able to put towards my, uh, uh, restart your computer. Okay. I'll restart it in a minute. So all of that, all of that said and done, I'm pretty happy with the way this build turned out. Like I'm very excited to, uh, to, like I said, uh, like it's like playing Starfield, you know, just vast visiting, like it, it, the exploration of this is going to be very, very cool. I like NVIDIA. I, I, I like NVIDIA. I just, I, I don't like their practices. I don't like how they're, they're running their company. I don't, I don't like how it feels like it's baked in obsolescence every generation. Like I don't like that. And I and I don't like feeling like I have to like I have to keep up with the Joneses all the time just to continue to get here's here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing, and this is this is what I feel about NVIDIA. NVIDIA has some pretty cool tech. They do. DLSS is amazing. There's no denying that. Ray tracing looks incredible when you can use it, but dude, if you're not buying the top of the line nvidia cards every single generation the only thing that like like we've already maxed out on 4k visuals like we've already like we already have 4k visuals are you, are you gonna go to 8k or whatever no 4k is gonna be the standard for a while i don't see anybody going to 8k to keep chasing that but we've already hit 4k visuals like we've already got 4k at max settings 
So you're not going to get any better visuals just by having any other graphics card. Like that's that's that ship's already come and sell. Now is what you can do every time you get an NVIDIA graphics card, you will get ink 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 uh incremental better ray tracing support, which is essentially not that great unless you have DLSS. Like you have to you have to be using DLSS to like really utilize that on on a lot of the newer stuff. With the NVIDIA graphics card, like I could run it all with that with that 3080, but then like it I'll tell you what, man, it just it wasn't as good or as stable as experience as I as I as I thought it would be for for as much money as I put into the PC and everything like that. And I do and I do realize now that after buying this and and building this like so much more unlocked like immediately after like that other ram before i stuck the, or before i took that out and put the other one in there like my old pc would a lot would, would have me locked at 3200 megahertz well i put it in here and i turned on xmp and it jumped it all the way up to 37 because there was no more training wheels on this platform there's no more training wheels on this platform and i'm like wow man that's pretty freaking awesome so <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Like I have no regrets. I, I'm pretty happy that I decided to go with AMD. I want to see this thing through. I want to see how how this goes, and I want to be able to uh, give you guys the best information that I can and and help you guys along the way. Uh, I I do I I do not have a problem with with people buying pre builds. Like I I don't. I feel like that was if, especially if you're coming from a console, it's gonna feel a lot more it's going to feel a lot more. I mean, it is going to feel more restricted. You're going to feel like you're, it, it's got some, it's got some safety features there that are going to help you and kind of guide you along. Yeah. You could definitely still destroy that, you know, by, by doing stupid stuff that you probably shouldn't be doing, but it's at least it's, you could definitely build a PC. I've spent about as much building this as I did buying that pre-built. Like I, I did, like I did. I mean, I was able to save some of the cost because of my SSD and my, my CPU. But for the most part, even if I would have bought a whole new CPU, I would have been right about the same price. So yes, building is just as cheap as buying a, a pre-built. Like you're, you're going to get, you'll probably get a better deal building it yourself, but I'm not anti pre-built for, for people that want to get into PC gaming and start learning because let's face it. You're going to buy your first PC. Think of it as the console generation. You're going to buy your first one and that might be your Xbox Series S of the of the PC market. But then you're going to be like, "Whoa, man, I want a I want an Xbox Series X or a PS5 one too." And then you're going to hit, you know what I mean? Like then you can build your own. Get in there with a pre-built if if you don't have the time and you don't have the understand because I I guarantee it, the money that you could destroy building your very first pc is equivalent to what you're going to pay for a pre-built is equivalent because there's a lot of things that i could have messed up along the way bending pins on your cpu um touching something with a screwdriver in the spot you're not supposed to hitting a capacitor something something like that metal on metal you know there's there's lots of things that could have definitely happened if you were to make the wrong, uh, like like do the wrong thing. So I, I'm not I'm not anti pre-built, but you will save a lot mon a lot of money building it or buying the components and having somebody else build it for you. It's it it is either way. I think you'll be fine. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. When I get home from work tomorrow, I'll be able to do a better video. Maybe we'll go live. We'll talk about some of this stuff. But right now, yeah, it's already eleven o'clock. I gotta finish this video, upload it, and then get to bed. So we'll see you guys tomorrow after work. Thank you for watching.